In this video, we're going to be looking at the autophage options that you can unlock in No Man's Sky in the late game. I'm doing this video for people who want to see what some of the different robot parts look like, heads, uh, bodies, some of the cloaks and uh, ponchos and stuff, without having to go and unlock everything at the autophage uh, vendor at the late game. So if you just want one head and you like the way it looks, now you'll know which one to pick out. So we'll start here with the first head. Uh, this one is probably one of the most simple ones. And uh, we'll check out some of the different scarf options and hood options. As you can see, the third one always has like the mouth covering or the face covering. Then you have the open hood. And uh, I guess for colors, we'll use this blue color just to differentiate. So we'll use uh, tan, red, and blue just so you can kind of see where the different colors fall. But the Third color is for the eyes, second is decoration for the most part, and then your base color is um, on the top. So uh, those are some of the different options for the first head type. And uh, this is one that you have to unlock at the autophage. It's not something that you could have gotten on um, one of the season missions. Um, option two and three, though, interestingly, are um, options that you could have unlocked in the season 10. So all the other heads here, one through 17, minus two and three, um, you'll have to unlock at the uh, late game. And unfortunately, it doesn't open up for all your other save files. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing the video here. Anyway, you can see there's some different choices for eye flashing colors and stuff, uh, if you're looking for that. And um, so that's just kind of cosmetic, really. Let's take a look at the next one. So that was the salvaged head. This one's the construct head, or the crimson head. This one was available in season 10. If you haven't unlocked it, usually they open up the seasons at the end of the year. So around December, I would expect them to relaunch the season 10 expedition. Um, but uh, the hoods is new for it, and it's got kind of a unique looking one. You have the same kind of thing going on with the emblems on the side you can choose. And then there's also the Atlantid uh, head. This is also one that you could have unlocked as an option from Season 10, though now you can get them both pretty easily just by doing the late game content. Um, and this one also has some paint details on it, which is kind of neat. So pretty cool. Both the saucer heads, though, a little easier to get. Don't really like the hoods on this one, though. Just checking it out as they kind of clip into the top of the head. I thought the uh, Crimson option was the better uh, better variation. Alright, here is another one you can only unlock from the autophage quests at the end of your game. This one looks like one of the drones um, from the Sentinels. So interesting looking head. Uh, here's your different hood options. Again, face covering on this and then you can change up your patterns on the side as you see. You got one that looks like the Atlas. You got a circle and um, the arrows. All right, and let's look at the summoner's head. Again, it's another one that looks like the uh, sentinel type of enemy. Kind of fun. And um, let's take a look at some of the hood options. So you got the open hood here, the more triangular head, uh, the one around the neck, and finally the face covering one, which just goes over the bottom, leaving the eye open. So I don't know if any of those appeal to you. Let's see, the next one is adaptive vision unit. It's got the big eyes. I've noticed on this one you get a little bit more uh, interesting effects from choosing different eyes, so you might play with that a little bit. It's got a three different hoods. It's kind of got that ET shaped head, which is sort of cool. And we'll turn off the hood here real quick. Uh, it's going to be the same sort of thing with the different patches on the side of the hood. And then you have some different detail too. You got one here with a smiley face. I'd never noticed that one before. And then we just got some different patterns on the front if you wanted to spice it up a little bit. That one's pretty neat. And here's one called Black Casing. So again, you can choose whatever colors you want. I just have these colors chosen just to kind of show you where the colors will fall. And then this has got some pretty cool eye effects too. Like the pulsing looks pretty neat. Anyway, I like that one. That's a, probably in my top five. Then we have the de-industrialized casing. Um, this one seems to be original. I don't think it's pulled from any other part of the game uh, that I've seen at least. And you got your different trim colors. 
We do have some different industrial industrialized body parts too, if you didn't want to go with like the robotic body, but I think this looks pretty good. And then just different paint trim colors uh, down below here that you're seeing. So we'll go no marking for a second. Here's your different hood choices. Looks like it kind of clips underneath the exterior armor, which is kind of interesting. I like that. All right, next one, recycled facial unit. This one's a little slimmer, a little more aerodynamic, I would say, with a single eye. Um, I think it looks pretty good with the different hood options. And uh, check out a rapid scanning one there for you just to see the different glowing eye effects. All right, casing of the hunt. This is probably my favorite of all the different heads and uh, one that I would choose for myself. It's kind of got the uh, wolf look to it and then you have different hood coverings. And here's some of the different patches on the side you can choose from. No mask if you like it. Uh, the white on the ears and stuff doesn't go away picking different colors so that is always going to be white in those parts you see on the top so you have to work with that. You've got your different eye choices too just like the others. So pick your favorite there. Next one, aerodynamic facial unit. This one kind of reminds me of um, a robotic alien from the movie Aliens with that uh, that style head. Pretty neat. Um, hoods look pretty interesting on it too, but if you're going for like a thin robot, this could be a good choice. A little taller head, but longer like the aliens from the movie Aliens. Um, got the face mask option. Same sort of thing with the different blink styles. So pick your favorite. Fast blink, don't really care for that one. Slow blink I like and bright pulse is also pretty nice. Probably stay with bright pulse or something like that for me. Next one, first among us casing. Um, again I think this is a take on one of the sentinels. It has kind of a crown thing going on on the top though. but I think it looks pretty cool and with the hoods the crown stays outside of the hood. So uh, I like this one too, and I've actually seen a lot of players uh, choose this one. So the first Among Us casing. And then the highlights too, mostly just going to be you know decoration around the eyes. This one does the side panels. Uh, number three, looks like it just decorates the crown a little bit more with your secondary color. And then finally you got your half and half on the front going on. So pretty interesting. Uh, third color, of course, is just the glowing eye effects. Starbound casing. Um, this one I haven't looked at as much, but it has kind of that wide head, ET style looking uh, head going on. And then you got some of your different colors here too. Kind of like the way that they uh, designed this one with the different colors. Pretty interesting. All right, and we got your different hood effects here too. Got that broad head, and then we have head scarf without. Anything going on, then we'll check out the face mask one here too. So pretty nice on that one as well. All right, number 13, armored facial unit. Uh, this is probably my second favorite after the hunter or the hunt one. And uh, simple, just got the armored face on it. You got some different designs. Um, I like the stripe, that looks pretty good. And then we have the circle. And finally, kind of uh, looks like blood splatter or something on the front if you want to go with that or maybe just more of a rustic look but uh, that could actually work pretty well with rust if you want to go with like um, more of a reddish brown color or something like that all right different hoods with it I like the way this looks with the face mask on it and there's an example of what some of the decorations look with the hood so armor facial unit, let's go to number 14, which is pre-built facial replica. This sort of reminds me of, is it Iron Giant? Isn't that the Disney movie with a giant robot like this? I could be totally wrong on that because I never saw that movie, but this definitely looks like some kind of Disney animation of a robot I've seen before. Anyway, there it is with three different uh, masks on, facial masks. Let's take a look at some of the different options. Let me go ahead and take the hood off. Got your face painted solid you have your stripe kind of in the middle uh, third options detail which is just the top half really painted the secondary color and then finally you have your more tribal looking uh, facial paint going on which could be pretty interesting too 
or no markings, depending on what you want. This one is called the Synthetic Gek. Um, so that's interesting. I don't think it really looks too much like a, uh, like a Gek. It kind of looks more like a space dog or something. Um, you got your different color options, so you can recolor the eyes. You have sort of more of like the nose bridge going on with the ears. Uh, an outline, and I think the fourth is a tribal look too. Yeah, tribal sort of like the last one. So some pretty cool facial options for that. Let's see how it looks with the hoods. We got open ma uh, face, which I think I like. Um, we have no hood, and then we got the face mask one. Actually, I think I like number one the best on that, but you pick your favorite. Uh, advanced facial unit. This one's pretty cool, too. This is probably number three on my list just because it has some of the different eyes. It's very, like, Star Wars-esque, and I think you even have a couple in the back, too, which looks pretty cool. We got your different paint colors. We got the outline, and I think this is also the tribal. Yeah, looks like the last one. You got the tribal option. And uh, let's see, go back to the block casing. Let's look at the hood options with it, too. It's kind of interesting because this one has like cutouts for the rear eyes, which uh, you don't see on the other hoods for the different models. And it sort of has like the gear mohawk, too. So, a pretty neat one. This is definitely up there among my favorites as far as the different. Autophage heads. Almost done. I think we saw this one at the beginning too. So the combat unit one. This looks a lot like the Star Wars droids, I would say, like the battle droids. But you can uh, give it a little bit more color options if you want to. So looks like that one's painting the face. This one adds a little detail to the head too with the red. I think I actually like that one the best. And then we got the tribal facial look going again, which is cool. And let's see how it looks with. Uh, some of the different hoods. So open face hood. I've seen a couple players running around with this one, so that seems to be pretty popular. Uh, we got the hood down, and then the one with the face mask. Which I actually think I like it better without the face mask on this one. So there we go. That is all the different heads uh, for the autophage options. So you can go back in the video and just pick out the ones you like, and that way you just have to unlock that one or two heads if you're not going to use the other ones. Um, a lot of the options, like the armor here too, have different um, aesthetics. Let me turn back the colors like we had it before. And uh, so different patterns. You can do the center red. I think the next one's the opposite. It's inverted, so red on the outside, primary color in the middle. And um, then we have the rusted option as well. Got your different arrows going on. And uh, let's see. Wanderer's Cloak is another one. I can zoom out a little bit by holding A. So I'll do that just so you can kind of see the different options here. And uh, has the option for heavy wear if you want the more rustic look. Let's see. We'll do dark red there. Actually, I think if I hit this, that will give us some more options. So we'll make the third color the blue. So that would be the outline of the cloak. But this one, um, I believe the colors underneath the cloak on the outside of the poncho are actually off your torso colors, if I remember right. And then we got the chevron uh, shoulder patch option. So that's the wanderer's cloak. All right. Let's take a look at the returner's drape. This is the one I see the most players using. Um, the darker brown color on the top of the returner's drape is actually also affected by your torso color. So depending on what you choose will change uh, that color. So it's your primary, not your secondary. So as you see, I changed my torso color. Suddenly the top of the drape changes. So just keep that in mind if you're wondering why you can't get that to change. On the armor, you have to jump up to torso and change your primary, primary torso. And it looks like you, using dark orange actually matches the yellow better. Um, so you'll have to play around with that a little bit to get a matching poncho. All right, back down on armor though, um, the primary color controls the lower part. And then you also have your outline and your writing on it by the secondary and accent colors. So, But this is definitely the most popular one out of the different cloak styles that I've seen people wearing for under the armor. Um, finally is the elaborate wrap. So this has got kind of that gek armor going on. And I don't know. It might work actually pretty well for a gek character. 
But I think it looks kind of funky personally on the autophage because they're so thin and you got this bulking armor. But some people might dig it. So you have your different options too for the different writing. That one's the more of the Atlas looking symbol. And again, I believe the under uh, Gamerson looking padding is controlled by your torso. So keep that in mind. Um, and then we have the armor again, which is probably what I would go with for a lot of these robots. So it kind of fits the theme better in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so that's how it looks. I guess we could play a little bit more with uh, the body colors too. If you didn't play season 10, um, you should also be able to lock out the different robotic body parts. So we can look at that. Um, I guess we'll start all the way down here at the boots. So you can uh, turn on and off rust on these. You also have different options. Let me put the red back on here so it matches with what we're doing. You've got your stripes for your first option. Uh, you can again do a rust or not just to show you the difference. I usually go non-rusted. And uh, same sort of thing with the legs. You got your different options. You got your stripes, your block. Uh, inverted, which is switches your colors and the chevrons again. So I personally like the chevrons. I think it looks pretty good. So just for the demonstration here, we'll stay with that. And let's go tertiary color blue. Same sort of thing here with the options, but we'll go chevron again with the hands. And torso kind of hard to see out of the armor but on this since we're not using the uh, returners cloak we're gonna go back light brown to match the rest of the outfit and then red is a secondary and uh, blue for the tertiary color okay I think that is everything I already saw the head body shape anyway hopefully that was helpful that guy give you some ideas um, you can look at the body shapes here again too Personally, I like the thin on the different types of autophage robots. Um, for other characters, I usually go normal or number one or number five. But totally up to you. Anyway, hopefully it was helpful. Please uh, like this video if you found this useful and uh, helped you determine which of the different autophage heads you want to select when you go through the quest line uh, at the end of the game. All right, guys. Uh, please thumbs up the video if you would. Uh, share it with people who might need some help picking out what they want to unlock in the autophage uh, missions and I appreciate you guys I'll see you guys soon later